Saturday of St. Patrick's Day. It's an Irish holiday celebrated around the world honoring the death day of St. Patrick. I don't know about you, but I don't think I would feel too great about the whole world celebrating the fact that I died. You can only celebrate St. Patty's Day if your name is Patty and you are accompanied by at least one other Patty. St. Patty's Day. It's not St. Patty Day. Gotta be at least two of ya. On St. Patrick's Day, it is illegal to serve any other beer besides Guinness. Also, in Ireland, if you are caught not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day, you're put in the stocks in the middle of town and mocked and pinched by anyone who happens to walk by. That's not made up at all. The symbol of St. Patty's Day is the clover. Normally in America it's the four-leaf clover because that's associated with luck because it's so rare. St. Patrick used the three-leaf clover because he was trying to teach the heathen Irish about Christianity and he used the three-leaf clover to represent the Holy Trinity. So basically, his lesson was you're not gonna get lucky, but you might get to go to heaven. Which is basically the lesson of Christianity in general. On St. Patty's Day, you can only eat patty based food hamburgers, hamburger patties, and York peppermint patties. If you don't eat patty based food, you are murdered and turned into a patty based food. You have not properly celebrated St. Patty's Day if you have not gotten blackout drunk and attempted to get into at least one fist fight. Similarly, if you get into a fight with a druid or a snake and win, you get every drink for free for the rest of the holiday. St. Patty was said to drive out the snakes from Ireland and the snake was code for the druids who apparently were assholes that the Irish didn't like. If you want the full story, I recommend Wikipedia. I'm not a history channel. It's traditional to wear all green on St. Patty's Day because the rest of the world is really, really jealous that they're not Irish! Irish. Irish. Leprechauns. I don't know. Fun fact. Leprechauns are evil. No, not really. I've heard that, but I've never actually met a leprechaun, and I'm sure some of them are nice. One year on St. Patrick's Day, I started drinking before 10 in the morning, sprained my ankle at some point, walked about 20 blocks home because I couldn't feel anything, fell asleep around 5, woke up to throw up around 8, and could barely walk in the morning because of my ankle. And my hangover. Cultural appropriation is dangerous, my friends. St. Patrick was known for converting thousands of Irish to Christianity. And on St. Patrick's Day, one of the primary ways associated with celebrating St. Patrick's Day is getting drunk. He all remembered the 11th commandment, thou shalt turn up. <laughs> In Bikini Bottom, where SpongeBob lives, they celebrate a similar holiday called St. Krabby Patty's Day. If St. Patrick's Day happens to fall during Lent, like I think it is this year, um, Christians in some churches are given the day off from fasting or whatever they do for Lent. So basically it's just a big ol' Irish cheat day. The Druids were the ruling class before St. Patrick brought Christianity um, to Ireland. And before he brought Christianity to Ireland, most of Ireland were pagan. A druidic priest had snakes on their arms, hence uh, St. Patrick drove the snakes out of Ireland. Not only has it been contorted from what it originally meant, what it originally meant was like, yay, more people became Christian and Christianity is symbolizing colonization and cultural genocide and superiority. Now I understand, because now I do want to get blackout drunk and start a fist fight with somebody. If you really hated this video, tweet about it because I love the attention. Thanks for watching. My girlfriend's tradition was always to make shepherd's pie for St. Patrick's Day, but I asked her to stop because there's not actually any shepherds in it and I don't like being lied to. I have a customer now, so bye. Uh.